Hey everybody, it's Becky. Welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun video for you guys today and you guys know that I love the Dollar Tree. I talk about them a lot. I've done haul videos from them quite a, quite a bit and I'm there at least once a week. So I thought it'd be really fun to share with you guys some weird Dollar Tree products that you can use for cleaning that really work. Um, I don't really get a lot of their cleaning products, but they have some other products scattered throughout the store that I have found that I end up using and loving to clean my home and I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you like Dollar Tree and if you like cleaning videos, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. The first weird Dollar Tree product that I like to use for cleaning is their packing tape. I just get one roll of packing tape and I use it to get the dog hair and the like fuzzies and lint off of the felt pads on my chairs in my kitchen and in our homeschool room. You know, we have a dog, so his hair, if it's on the floor, and then you move the chair in and out, and then the chair, the hair gets stuck to those little, like, non-scratching pads on the bottom of the chair. So all I do is take a little piece of this packing tape, turn the chair upside down, rub it back and forth a few times, and it gets the hair off like magic. And it's so much easier than, like, sitting there and picking all the hair off. And actually, it works better than vacuuming it off as well, because I've tried that with the, just the vacuum attachment. And it takes a lot longer. This is really super quick and simple. So it's kind of weird. Maybe I'm the only person that has this issue, but if you have those little felt pads on your chairs and you have pet hair anywhere in your home, you're gonna have hair stuck on those. So this is a really easy and inexpensive way, it's a little weird, to get the hair off of those. Another Dollar Tree product that I like to use for cleaning is their lint rollers. Obviously lint rollers come in handy for getting the lint off your clothes and dog hair off your clothes. But they also come in handy for a ton of other uses as well. They're really nice to put to use on your window screens to get dust off of your window screens. They're really nice to use on lampshades instead of like trying to vacuum your lampshade to rub up and down the lampshade to get dust off of those. It's also really good to use on your furniture for quick pickups of dog hair and, and cat hair in between. Like maybe you don't vacuum your couch every day or every week, but you can quickly use a lint roller to get that pet hair off of your cushions. Another cleaning product that I like to get from the Dollar Tree are their razor blades. Now, when we moved into our townhouse when we first got married, we had a glass stove top and I had never had a glass stove top before. So I did not know how to clean them, but the people that lived there before had left us like a, a razor blade. And I, maybe other people knew you were supposed to use that to clean a glass stove, but I didn't know. And since then I've seen some like in the cleaning section at like Lowe's or Walmart where you can get like the stove blades, but they're usually a couple dollars. The one at Lowe's I think was $8. I just get the cheap Dollar Tree little blade. It comes with the little case and it comes with a box of disposable razors so that when they get dull or dirty, you can throw them away. But it really does make it easy to scrape off that burnt, like baked on stuff that gets on your stove really simply and quickly and then wipe it off with whatever cleaner you use. But for a dollar, you get like I think six refills in the little box and it works just as well as the expensive ones and it's only a dollar. Another invaluable thing to have from the Dollar Tree when it comes to cleaning and taking care of your home are their furniture markers. I have a couple different sets of furniture markers that came with our kitchen cabinets and then one that came with our TV cabinet, which are different colors. But I don't know, they never really last that long. They dry out and they're pretty expensive when you get them from like the furniture manufacturer. So for a dollar, you get this pack of furniture markers where you get three different shades and they actually work really well. So I was really impressed with these. And also our TV cabinet in the living room is black and I found that a good old Dollar Tree black Sharpie, picked it up for a dollar, I use this to fill in any little nicks that get on my TV cabinet um, because it is black, it's permanent so it tends to work and I haven't had any issue with it and for a dollar I'm able to make my furniture look nicer for longer. So definitely check out the Dollar Tree furniture markers. Another weird and random Dollar Tree product that you can use for cleaning are denture tablets. You can use them in your toilet to let them soak for a couple hours and get rings off of your toilet. You can use them in your, like if you have a jetted tub and you need to clean out your tub and then the little uh, jets around, like the little uh, casings around the jets of your tub. Fill up your tub with hot water, put five or six of those denture cleaning tablets in there and let it soak and it will really help to get all that grime and soap scum off of your tub and also out of the jets of your tub as well. I also like to use denture cleaning tablets to clean out my crock pot. I don't like to get those liners that you cook in, but it is a mess whenever you use your crock pot and you've got like baked on food inside it. I was really amazed at how well this worked. All I did was fill the crock pot up with warm water I think I ended up putting two denture cleaning tablets in the crock pot and letting it sit for a few hours and all of that food came off like magic. So it really does work 
And for a dollar, you've got quite a few of these tablets that you can use all around your home for all different cleaning purposes. Kind of in that same tooth category, and I've talked about this before, is I have tons of cleaning toothbrushes around my home, pretty much in every room. I have toothbrushes that are literally just meant for cleaning. They're perfect for all of those little nooks and crannies around your house that you want to get in really clean, but it's hard to get in there with your hand or a different type of brush. I use them to clean out the tracks of our windows. I use it to clean around the faucets if they get like any gunk around the faucets. I mean, there are so many uses for cleaning toothbrushes. Just make sure that you label it or you keep it away from everyone else's toothbrushes so they don't end up using it in their mouth after you've like used it on the toilet. But they really are a handy cleaning tool that you can get in like multi-packs from the Dollar Tree, like four and five and six for a dollar. And they are just a great tool to have everywhere all around the house for all different types of cleaning jobs. And my last Dollar Tree product that you can use for cleaning is probably the weirdest one and it's knee pads. They actually have in their like tool and handyman section, they have these black padded knee pads. It sounds ridiculous, but if you've ever been on your hands and knees scrubbing a floor or your baseboards or a bathtub or even giving your kid a bath, it really hurts your knees. And I used to put like towels down and like scoot around on my knees because I do have like an upright mop that I use, but every once in a while I like to get down on my hands and knees and mop like super duper well with like a rag on my hands and knees or I'm down on my hands and knees washing the baseboards or something like that. So as goofy and ridiculous as it sounds to say that you have cleaning knee pads, they really do, they're really comfortable, they really do work, and they really do take a lot of that pressure off your knees when you're down there cleaning. So consider maybe next time you're at the Dollar Tree picking up some of those knee pads. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. You got some good ideas of some maybe unconventional tools that you can get at the Dollar Tree that you can use for cleaning. So if it was helpful, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos that I do every single week about cleaning and organizing and mom life and fitness and Disney videos and homeschooling. So if you like those types of videos, make sure that you subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.